how did you see the exhibition? It's did you really, like it? I really like it. It's super nice to see all the passion and the Japanese knives here at your booth. It's wonderful. Thank you again for the invitation. Would you believe that this exhibition is going to help us as uh, partners uh, to promote in a better way the Kai products in Greek market? Yes, I think it really will help you to promote Kai products and the Greek market and also to show that you are our distributor on the, on the Greek market. And it makes also a stand that send out the message to the others that you are present on the market and that we as Kai are present on the Greek market. Yes, well, that's, that's true. That's true because the Greek market last year only really changed a lot. And uh, after so many years of uh, crisis, the people they come back now and they prefer to use and buy high quality things, something that uh, Kai is really focused on. Not focused, a big history, presents knives like old samurai swords. It's a very good stuff. It's the new Kiritsuke knife, which is a limited edition. Why limited edition? Yeah, um, we saw it. Right now it's the 110th anniversary for Kai. Next year it's 111. And we thought we want to make something special on the European market, which has never been for Shun or for Kai. It's a Kiritsuke with a white handle. So both are new, the knife is limited to 2,222 pieces and the shape has never been on the European market. As you know, it's called the Master's Knife as it's a hybrid between Usoba and Yanagiba. It's perfectly suited to cut fish, meat and vegetables with the knife. It's a very strange knife. It seems to be like something companion between the European chef's knives and the Asian chef's knives. Yes. Do you believe it? And the is it's functional. Um, it's really functional because you can do every work with this knife in the kitchen. So it takes over all the tasks of a Japanese knife to be precise, to work um, like a really precise tool, but also like the European knife, you can cut everything with this knife. It's good, it's good. So the, the general idea, in all my general question is why a professional or amateur who works in the kitchen it is necessary to prefer Japanese knife against to European or to other production knives I think um, on the one side is as I already stated that the knife is really precise you can precise work you can do fast work as we are using the special bevel the Japanese bevel on these knives they help the, the cooks even if they are professional or not like the amateur cooks to do their work, to do their proper work, and also to keep the taste in the food. As you know, when you cut with a Japanese knife, there's no juice going out of the knife. And it's just perfect. I think you need to try it out. As you say, to see it for yourself, compare it with a European knife. You will be satisfied from the first cut you're making. One of the main questions of the consumers is how long term cutting is Japanese knife and of course a strong and a so cruel material knife could they fix it in the near future with a water stone or with a sharpening steel easier than a European knife? Um, basically yes they can fix it easier um, with a stone than a European knife but they have to take care. I would recommend them to take a sharpening, le um, sharpening lesson to really learn how to sharpen the Japanese knives. As you know, because of our bevel, it's easy to hurt the knife. When you know how to sharpen the knife, when they learn it, when they take it by heart, when they know the right technique to do the 15 degree bevel, it's easy to resharpen the knife, it's easy to maintain the knife sharp, long, and to have, I would say, fun with the knife, fun in the kitchen, to just keep it. But here, I think you're one of the best experts here on the Greece market, to tell them how to sharpen the knife, how to maintain the sharpness of the knife. So I think for, for my personal view and for Kairo's uh, personal view, it's easier to sharpen the knife, but they have to take care. They need to train it. And of course, the after sales service, if the damage is higher than we prefer, we, uh, we remain, is it good? Can we set it back? Do they have any guarantees? Um, yes, we, actually we have a guarantee. We have a 10-year warranty guarantee. So, as the fault is structural, we will replace the knife 
without anything within 10 years when it's a structural mistake. But when it's a mistake of the consumer, like they were cutting too hard of frozen material, we'll, not rep uh, we'll try our best to repair it. Our engineers in Japan will inspect the knife, but when they don't take care of the knife, when they don't follow the instructions of how to use a Japanese knife, we will not replace it. Good. And the last question. Uh, do you believe that the Greek market is a, a prospective market for Thai products? If we also suppose that the Greek market is a very strong touristic market with the people who come all around the world to taste the kitchen, uh, the Greek chicken kitchen, chicken, uh, the Mediterranean kitchen, are the prospective countries for the Thai Europe? Yes, I think it's a really prospective market, as you see. Um, we grew through the crisis together with you. We as partners, we grew. And as we already said before, we have not, we are not um, like visible on all the Greek markets. We are still expanding. We are still in the growing process. And I think even for the Mediterranean kitchen, where you're cutting a lot of chicken breast, um, a lot of vegetables, Japanese knives are perfectly. They're perfectly suited. I think Kai is perfectly suited. I think you are the best partner we could get on the market to grow, to expand our business on the Greek market. So thank you very much, Florian, for your kind replies. And we hope to have you together in the next uh, exhibitions, but in the long term future. Thank you very much. And we hope so too to, have, uh, to be our partner for a long time and see you in Paris. You're welcome.